top 5 viral text. If you don't have time to create titles on your own, follow the link in the description below to download a full title spec. Let's start with viral text. Open the effects window, go to titles and drag title plus into the timeline. Go to fusion page, change your text. Right click and select follower. Go to modifiers, shading. Go to 34th frame and add keyframe on opacity. Go to the first frame and set opacity to 0. Open spline window and ease opacity keyframes. And we have this simple fade-in animation. Now let's make our text looks like it is three words on each different layer. So go to layout, change type to text box and enable wrap to text box. And drag the right part of the box to change the text position, like this. Now we will change each word's font. And to do that go to modifiers window, select text, right click on text and choose character level styling. So this gives us an ability to select each word or even a letter and change the font, styling, etc. So select top word on the viewer, go to font and choose the font you like. Now select the second word and do the same. And the same thing with the third one. And I will change the size and tracking of each word. Now select all three words and change line spacing if you like. Or change position of each word like this. Ok, now go back to follower settings, choose timing and set delay value to 1.2. So now we have this nice fade in animation for each word. Now let's add some glow to our text. Shift spacebar and type glow. Set glow size to around 35 and glow to around 0.8. Go back to edit page, go to settings and change composite mode to difference. And here is our final text. Flickering text. Go to titles and drag title plus into the timeline. Go to fusion page, change your text. Right click and select follower. Go to modifiers, shading. Right click on opacity, modify width and select shake. Go to shake settings and reseed random seed, set smoothness to 0.2, step on 20th frame, set keyframe on maximum and set minimum value to 1. Now hover the playhead to 17th frame and set minimum value to 0. Go to 3rd frame, set keyframe on maximum, go to the 1st frame and set maximum to 0. And we have this nice flickering animation. Go back to timing and set delay value to 1.2 in order to complete random. And now it looks much better. So we have our text in animation and now let's add text out animation. Go to keyframe editor, select minimum values, right click, copy points, right click and paste points. Switch points position and drag it closer to the left and repeat the process with maximum value points. And we have a flickering out animation. Let's add some glow to our text. Select template node, shift space bar and look up for glow. Set glow size to 25. And that's it. Go to titles and drag title plus into the timeline. Go to fusion page. Change your text. Go to layout, change type to text box and enable wrap to text box. Squeeze the box a little and place it to the left side. Go to text and change anchor to left. Now right click on text and select follower. Go to shading, place the playhead to the 20th frame and set keyframe on opacity. Go to the first frame and set opacity to 0. Now go to softness settings, set keyframe on x and y values and change both to 30. Go back to 20th frame and set softness to 0. Open spline editor and ease your keyframes. 
So now we have a basic fade in text animation with blur. Ok, now go to timing and set delay to 1.2 or whatever you like. And now it looks much cooler. Now let's change each word font. Go to text, right click and character level styling and make sure it's in modifiers window, not in tools. Select top word and change the font. And do the same with other words. Change line spacing if needed. Awesome, now go back to tools and make sure it's set to color channel, not alpha channel. Go to shading and set color to gradient. Drag the left slider to the right and create a new one. Change left color to white and middle color to gray. Change mapping angle to 38, aspect to around 0.8 and level to line. Go back to edit page. Let's change the position like this. Go to effects window and add drop shadow effect. Change values to your liking and that's it. Cinematic text. Go to titles and drag title plus into the timeline. Go to fusion page. Change your text. Go to the first frame and set tracking values to 1.3. Go to the last frame and set tracking to 1.1. So we have this nice tracking animation. Now right click on the text and choose follower. Go to modifiers window. Step on frame number 55 and set keyframe on opacity. Go to the first frame and set opacity to 0. Go to softness settings and set keyframes on X and Y values. Go to the first frame and change it to 20. Go to spline editor to ease keyframes. Ok, looks cool. Now go to timing window and set delay to 1.5. And now we have this awesome cinematic fade in with blur. Now select template node, hit shift space bar and look up for transform. Hover your playhead to the first frame, set keyframe on size, go to the last frame and set size to 0.9. Go back to edit page to see the results. Apple style text. Go to titles and drag title plus into the timeline. Go to fusion page. Change your text, size and font. Right click follower, go to modifiers window and shading. Step on the 40th frame, set keyframe on opacity, go to the last frame and set opacity to zero. Let's add a blur animation. Set softness value to 15. Step on 40th frame and set softness to 0. Open spline editor to ease keyframes. Cool, now we need to add a motion to our text. Step on frame number 35, go to position settings and set keyframe on offset. Go to the first frame and set Y values to minus 0.6. Now go to 21st frame and set Y to 0.07. So it has like a small bounce or jump in the end. Go to spline editor to ease keyframes. Select the middle keyframe and drag the slider like this so it looks more flat. Go to timing window and set delay to 
So that's the text in animation. Now let's add a text out animation. Open keyframe editor, copy opacity points and paste it over here and switch the points position. And do the same for softness values. Go back to edit page and here is our final result. If you would like to support this channel, please visit my store to download some awesome titles, effects and transitions for DaVinci Resolve.